If you're trying to use the two cores on the Raspberry Pi Pico and share RAM between the two cores, and when you get to the point in the application where it's sharing the RAM, the application just hangs, then the solution I'm going to go over in this video is likely to be the solution which will resolve your issues. So a couple of videos ago, I went over an application that I've written on the Raspberry Pi Pico, which is a Jupyter Ace emulator. And it is the first application I've written which actually uses both cores of the Raspberry Pi Pico. And it worked just fine, it didn't have any issues at all. Um, so what I'm going to describe in later slides is when I got the issue and what the actual cause of the issue was. So I've got my Jupyter Ace emulator running on the core zero, and I've got in the RAM memory allocated to that Jupyter Ace emulator, which is 64K, so that's like the 64K which it would be using if it was a physical machine, and it's defined as a, a character array, so it's a character array of 64K. And the Jupyter Ace emulator is reading and writing from this array of characters, and that's on core zero. And on core one, I've got a display driver, so in order to try and relieve some of the actual overhead on core zero, I want to, want to take it onto core whatever I can onto core one. And the best way of splitting my program was to put a display driver on core one and the keyboard driver on core one. And the display driver, it reads from this character array, which is em the emulator's character array, uh, because on the Jupyter Ace, there's a memory map of graphics within that. And it takes those graphics, it just reads, it doesn't write to that, it just reads from that memory. And it then plots it onto the actual VGA memory video map, which is in the RAM as well, but that's separate allocated memory. I'm not having any contention there. Uh, and then that RAM is just taken and read from using DMA, sent to the PIO, which then sent it out to the VGA display. So there's no issue hit with the VGA video memory because it's only being written to from core one and that nothing on core zero is accessing it. And in this particular instance, like I say, there's no issues with the actual emulator memory. It worked fine. And the core zero is reading and writing from that memory. And core one is just reading from that memory. So there shouldn't be any uh, contention anyway. So this is where I come on to my uh, problem when I go on to my Z80, ZX80 emulator. So it's basically the same code, uh, but sl slightly different because the ZX80 actually updates this display differently. And this is where I'm getting hanging. So as soon as I went on to try and emulate the Z Z80, ZX80 on Core Zero, and again, I've got the emulator memory here, but the, the memory is slightly different because the ZX80 isn't really a graphics display, it's a character map display. So in order to put the display driver on Core 1, I needed to Core Zero to take whatever the was it was trying to plot onto the display and put it into a character map array. But it's still a character array. So just like the emulator is just a character array of 64K, the character map, which I'm, I'm going to actually transfer the display information across to Core 1, is just a character array in the same way. And the ZX80 emulator is just right into that, and the Core 1 display driver is just reading from that. So there shouldn't be any contention. And again, the, from there onwards, it's exactly the same process. But it was hanging and it would, it would just it took, it took me a day to resolve it. it was, I was just going through all the possible combinations of what could be causing the problem. I even used um, at one stage the, uh, the the process which is in, in, in actual the C itself, uh, like think, things like semaphores and, um, and uh, other processes for signaling when it's safe to actually read from that memory when both cores aren't reading from that memory. But those those processes are just really for if you want to write the same memory and do have contention. So if, if core zero was writing to uh, this array and core one, one wanted to write to this array, then there would be contention and then I would expect it to hang. But as core one is reading, it shouldn't be hanging. So what was the, the actual solution? So if I go on to the next slide, this is the actual solution that I came up with. So what I hadn't considered was actually at one stage in the past, I changed this uh, actual emulator memory from a 64K array. It's still a 64K array of characters, but it's allocated using malloc. And so that was why I wasn't getting the issue with it hanging on the Jupyter Ace emulator. So I changed this character map 
array as well to be allocated using malloc. So rather than being at compile time, it being allocated, memory being allocated at compile time, it, I was allocating now at runtime using malloc. And as soon as I did that, this, this all just worked. There was no contention, there was no hang in, and it ran fine. The, the emulator wrote into the, the character map memory uh, and the display drive read from the character map mem memory and just sent it onto the VGA display. So if you're getting hanging when you're trying to use two cores, sharing the RAM between the two cores, and you've got some memory which is allocated at compile time, then try allocating it using, just creating a pointer, changing it to a pointer, and then allocating the memory using malloc at runtime. And that resolved the issues. If, 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 you've got, if you want to still, if you want to both cores to write to the same memory, uh, then you'll need to use the uh, the semaphores or the um, can't remember what the other the other terms are, but there, there there's a there are processes in the Raspberry Pi Pico documentation which actually tell you uh, how to prevent con contention right into memory at the same time. But if you just want to read from write one core writing and one core reading from memory, then then use malloc.